Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Ansel Armstrong back again. And today, we're going to be breaking down everything you might need for the final collection coming. And it will be the show 21. I've gone through, I've ran all the numbers, I've broken down the math, taking a look at both the Mookie and Kershaw collection. We can get an idea of how much cards we needed then and kind of project what we might need for this upcoming collection. Take a look at those numbers, see how many cards have been added in the game since then for each collection type, and then go through and project what we might need for this upcoming collection. It's definitely gonna be a beefy one, especially if it's having multiple rewards. Could we possibly see them remove vouchers entirely and each card type that you collect rewards you with a card, then you go through and collect those cards? I think that would be sick. Imagine collecting a bunch of primes for a prime jimmy fox you collect a bunch of six series for six series king griffey jr you can do that for every card type and come up with some really really sick cards to collect a final reward a mike trout or somebody of that nature lots of cool things they can do no doubt though you're gonna want to be prepared and ready for this collection they're gonna be in game some of the best cards in the entire game so let's break down what we need let's go ahead and let's hop into it so let's come over here to our collections tab let's look at our legends and flashbacks let's break down what we could be needing we'll start right here out the gate with postseason cards obviously what was added to the most recent and there are a lot of postseason cards in the game with all the 2021 postseason cards being eligible for this collection we'll obviously see this be much different than the 30 we needed for kershaw move my camera over here so y'all can see how many were needed for the previous ones you can see uh collect that 30 you got kershaw and for that 30 you needed for kershaw that was 97 percent of the postseason cards available within the game so we extrapolate that data out for how many postseason cards are now in the game with the 64 postseason cards that would equal 62 based off that percentages 62 bit of an odd number i'm guessing that would be rounded down because they're not going to go up to 64 they want to keep it a nice even number you can see 25 30 40 50 add 10 more make that 60 i think that's a pretty fair bet here for postseason it could also just be Corey seager Corey seager could end up just being that voucher uh so to speak that you need and they don't add anything to it but if they do add something to postseason i would guess 60 would be the number that i'm looking at of the 64 that means that we could be missing up to four postseason cards and you're probably going to be in a pretty good spot obviously the kershaw the mookie collection don't do us anything oh tiny if he's used that's just going to be a voucher himself nothing really different there i would recommend having otani same with jackie kershaw mookie mo maybe those end up being vouchers as well but of course if you're going to get the i know collection that's coming out you're going to get these along the way i would recommend having jackie as well safe guy just to have in case he's used we've seen him be used for these previous ones on the milestone the first one we're looking at here milestone there are a ton of milestone cards in this game. They've definitely become one of the most popular card types. We saw that you needed 35 to collect for Kershaw. That was 64% of the milestone cards in the game. But when you needed 25 to collect for Mookie, that was 86% of the milestone cards in the game. So we're going to base our projections based off that 86% number. That seems a bit more likely for this final collection. It's going to be beefy, so they're not going to make it easy on us. So running those numbers, we have 80 milestones in the game right now. That would give us 69 milestone cards at that 86% number. We round that up. We say 70. That leaves you with 10 milestone cards you cannot have. There's a lot. They've added a ton of milestone cards to this game since that Kershaw collection. So a lot to go through here and break down. Thankfully, there are a lot of inexpensive milestone cards. We got a lot of guys down here at the bottom a little bit more inexpensive but certainly not gonna be the easiest one to get there's a lot of expensive ones as well you got guys like lou and oral and vita blue and goose and verlander and eric davis and matt kemp chrissy i mean there's a lot of there's a lot of pricey milestone cards in the game so milestone if there's one to skip if you get a skip option like we've seen in previous collections milestone is probably going to be the one to skip but just keep that in mind i'm looking at a 70 is a confident number that i feel for this collection on the second half heroes honestly i think one of the more sneakier ones in the game it's not a ton of second half heroes and a, a fair amount of these do end up being relatively expensive we needed 25 for kershaw based off those percentages of how many second half cards are in the game now with the 37 second half cards in the game that would give us 27 
for 74 percent of the second half cars round that up i'm gonna say 30 adding five to it that seems pretty fair that gives us seven second half cards that we cannot have there's some expensive ones in here we do have some cheaper guys from the br program some choice packs here and there a lot of team affinity guys a couple running back guys some inexpensive options here and there but not a whole lot overall if we need 30 it's gonna be some expensive ones obviously with 37 cards they could make it 35 i think that'd be a little overkill but who knows they could go super super aggressive with this collection 30 though that's kind of my confident number for this on to the prospects we needed 38 for kershaw if prospects are used i don't see any way that it's not 41 which would be 100 percent of all prospect cards this doesn't make any sense i guess maybe you, they could round it up to 40 and leave one out but i think it's just going to be 41 collect every single prospect card most of these relatively obtainable without too too much effort a couple more expensive ones here and there overall though not too bad I think this one's almost certainly going to be 100% if it's included. Now on to the prime. Everyone's favorite card type, of course. Not many primes in the game at all. You can see just a handful. Based off our Kershaw collection numbers, we needed 83% of primes. That was 20 primes back then. With the 27 primes we have now, 83% of those comes out to be 23 prime cards. I think we round that up to be a 25 add five to the kershaw collection ends up being a bit of a spicy one just able to miss two prime cars i'm currently missing two we don't want to talk about zach Britton. i'm about to get them from these dailies right here not a lot of primes there are some affordable ones you know old day robertson she check some guys from pennant race things like that but there's some expensive ones as well uh your honuses of the world at harvey's gotten up there jason bay garrett anderson several hundred thousand subs not an easy one at all prime could be one of the more difficult ones to obtain just based off how few cards are available of the prime it could be a very 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 high percentage of these needed 25 is kind of my number if you have 25 i'd be feeling good come friday now on to awards cards we needed just 70 percent of awards cards when we collected kershaw vouchers with that 30 there but we needed 80% back when we got Mookie. So I'm gonna base it off that 80%, that kind of a more aggressive number. We wanna be aggressive with our collections and our estimates. That way we're safe and prepared and ready to go. So based off that 80% number, 54 awards cards in the game right now. 80% gives us 43.7. I think we round that up to a nice round number of 45. And that leaves us with nine awards cards to spare. So we have 45 awards card, every single one but nine i'd be feeling pretty confident there's definitely a lot of affordable awards cards in the game a lot of free awards cards of course certainly some pricey ones as well but overall quite a few affordable ones awards should be relatively attainable collecting 45 allows you to skip some of the most expensive ones target some of the more inexpensive ones the more affordable ones and you should be in a pretty good spot awards feel confident that we're going to be able to lock that one out relatively easily compared to some of the other collections that we have on to the six series six series we needed just 56 percent of six series cards for kershaw however when we compare that to mookie bets we needed 83 percent. so we're going to base our numbers off of the 83 percent needed for mookie bets and there have been a lot of six series cards added the recent content drops for the game as well we've sneakily on up to a ton of six series cards in the game seems like every every drop adds a handful of these so with our percentages 52 six series currently in the game based off the 83 percent that would leave us with a 44 six series i think we can easily round that up to be 45 that's quite a jump from the 20 you needed for kershaw but if we're looking at 80 plus percent 45 seems like a number that would be relatively confident in being able to complete that collection day one for six series definitely some expensive ones in here as well 45 is a lot that allows you to skip just seven six series i think it ended up being one of the more difficult collections in this one it was one of the tougher ones for mo as there were just two six in the game when that came out one of the tougher ones for mookie as well kershaw wasn't too hard with just the 20 needed but they definitely made it a little bit easier for kershaw than i think they're going to make for this final collection so six series if you're missing some of these i'd go out try to find the affordable ones that you can a couple of the ones that are event guys lock in some of the free ones to a lot of these guys 
come from evolution programs player programs things like that lock in as many of these free ones as you can get as close as you can to that 40 plus number you should be in a good spot come next friday on the tops now we needed 94 percent when kershaw came out and 100 percent of tops now when mookie Betts came out i don't think they're gonna do 100 percent I hope they don't make us have Altuve and Darvish, but I can see you needing every tops now outside of that. Based off the 94% numbers, we have 132 tops now cards in the game right now. So that will leave us with 124 would be 94%. Round that up to 125. Seems like a solid place to be. They could also just make it a firm 130. And that would be every tops now in the game that is outside of darvish and altuve i think that 130 number makes a lot of sense that or 125 just make sure you've gone through you've completed all your tops now moments you got your tops now cards you're ready for this collection because if you don't and you're missing tops now if if you've sold some you don't have those anymore and you got to go and buy them come collection day we could see with some of the supply of these cards that tops now card prices fly up through the roof if you need a significant amount of them for some insane collection reward definitely going to be the card type that you need the most of when it comes to collection day come friday but again outside of two of these these are all these were all obtainable for free just by doing those moments and if you've been keeping up with monthly awards you're gonna have these tops now guys anyways which speaking of monthly awards we needed 50 for kershaw that got us 86% of the monthly awards cards in the game. Based off the 70 awards cards we have in the game now, that 86% would give us the 60. I think 60 could be a good number. 65, maybe a bit of that aggressive number. If we're looking for a secondary aggressive number to shoot for, 65 is solid. If you have all the monthly awards programs done, that's going to give you very, very close to being 65, all obtainable for free. And then if you just gone through and picked up some of these classics guys henchmen uh you know your edmonds your mays your tommy canely's come on down here leclerc tom murphy mark canna Evaldi, brad miller if you've gotten these guys locked up you should be in a really really good spot very close to that 65 number that 60 plus number somewhere in the 60s you're probably going to be sitting pretty for monthly awards on the future stars kershaw we were looking at 76 percent of future stars in the game but for mookie we were chilling at 87 percent of future stars needed so we're going to base our numbers off the 87 percent needed of the 41 future stars in the game now 87 percent would give us 36 we'll round down for that whole number there and be 35 that would be a plus 10 the kershaw which seems like a pretty standard jump a plus five plus 10 we see those a lot between mookie and kershaw and between mo and mookie so a plus 10 to give us the 35 i think that lines up real nicely that would mean you can miss six future stars in the game so future star can definitely be a tough one a couple of these guys of course we have gotten for free through team affinity but we got some event wards in there we have quite a few headliners in there some inning bosses a couple running back players a lot happening here future stars we got some classic guys here down at the bottom unobtainable now future stars can be tough if you can only miss six you're definitely going to want to be prepared or that could be one that we see prices go up a lot for a handful of these guys when that collection drops but again 35s what i'm looking at if you're in the 30s i'd probably feel pretty confident it could definitely just be a plus five i could see it being a plus 10 that's kind of my aggressive number that's what i'm at that's what i'm prepared to be on the rookie we needed 87 percent when kershaw came out that gave us our 45 number we take those percentages now of course not a whole lot of rookie cards in the game of the 64 87 percent gives us down to 55 and we can round that up and say 60 to be aggressive and be really really prepared for this collection 60 i'm feeling good i'm at 55 i'm probably feeling okay that allows us to miss nine or four if we're looking at 60 a lot of these guys really really obtainable though so with the obtainability of these rookie cards i could see them pumping it up a little bit making it 60 making you need a higher percentage of them to get progress towards this final collection definitely take advantage of prices being down still on a lot of these guys especially the br guys with the br program out right now a lot of them are cheaper than they normally would be and we can see big price increases over the next couple days as that collection nears that goes for rookie breakout all-star and vet 
those card types used a lot for the silvers and golds in br so there is a lot of affordable ones there definitely make sure at minimum you have all of those as uh, those silvers and golds down at quick sell value right now just make sure you're ready and have those cards in your inventory. On the breakout for Kershaw, we needed 94% of breakout cards. Right now, there are 37 breakout cards in the game. They've not added much since Kershaw. So that 94%, if we get to a nice even number, that gives us the 35 breakout cards. That one, I feel like this one's got to be 35. They could make it 37, make you have 100%. But 35 gives you a plus five over Kershaw, which was a plus five over Mookie and allows you to have every breakout card minus two of them. So you can just miss two breakout cards, almost 100% of the breakout cards available. Could be a very sneaky one with just 37 in the game. If you're needing 35 of those, does not give you much wiggle room. Again, a lot of these guys are BR. We have a lot of BR guys in breakout which makes them nice and affordable a couple of collection guys thrown in there as well some of these top end guys could go up a little bit the majority of these guys you do obtain either for free or for relatively cheap but just make sure you have these and you're prepared on these they could come in and make you collect a lot of these breakout probably has one of the ones with the least amount of wiggle room overall under all saw we were looking at 83 percent of the cards when kershaw came out Based off the 72 All-Star Game cards right now, that would give us 60 for that 83% number. That would just be a plus 5 over Kershaw. We saw that Kershaw the Mookie was a plus 10. So if we really want to be safe, I would say 65 of the 72 gives us to a good spot. Allows us to miss 7 as well. So we got a little bit of wiggle room. Definitely some expensive ones in here. Missing 7 allows you to have a couple misses here and there. If you're at 60, I'd probably be feeling pretty okay overall. But if you're at 65, I'd be feeling really, really confident in that number based off these previous collection amounts as that plus 10 seems like a solid upgrade over Kershaw without making it 100% of the cards available. On to our last one here, Veteran Series, 87% needed for Kershaw. Based off that math, we would be looking at 47 veteran cards of the 54 in the game. I think you round that up you give it to 50 that's a plus five over kershaw which was a plus five over mookie they're not going to put it at 54 i wouldn't think they could make it 100 percent it's always possible but i would think a nice round 50 would allow you a little bit of wiggle room you can miss five of these again veteran lots of very affordable cards in here we got some bronzes we got golds we got silvers very very affordable overall but just missing four not the most wiggle room in the world if you have the 45 for kershaw you're probably gonna be okay but that could be said for the all-star breakout rookie as well i wouldn't be worried about those as much if you have kershaw completed you should be in a relatively good spot as long as you had a little bit of wiggle room above that you've been playing throughout the year you've probably attained the majority of these cars but still definitely want to be prepared don't overlook this and be stuck scrambling day of the collection to get easier card types so to speak now finally of course finest coming out friday with the collection as well certainly going to be included in that in some manner we don't have a finest collection tab right now but we do have 13 finest cards in the game as of this video and then we know we're getting one for every team so that gives us the 43 we had the new buster posey actually that gives us the 44 then we're probably going to get some sort of choice pack we know that scs has some sort of secret one and secret two plan based off their finest landing page that could easily be finest choice packs so if we get up to say 60 55 finest cards in the game could easily need to collect 50 of those to be prepared for the collection so be ready on top of having all of these cards be ready to grind out team affinity 5 the day of it drops as you're probably going to be needing that for the overall main collection reward going to need those finest cards they're certainly going to be a part of it in some fashion we just don't have a collection tab for that yet they haven't been used in previous collections so tough to guesstimate exactly what we're needing for there i'm gonna take a shot in the dark though i'm gonna say 50 finest for that that does do it for today's video though i hope y'all are prepared for the final collection gonna be some insane cars we're missing some really 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 big names so i can't wait to see what we might be able to end up with through this collection i'm excited for friday of course 
come Friday on the content drop, we'll be streaming live down on Twitch link in the description below. Come hang out, chat with us live, break down all the new content, all the new things happening. It's going to be a great time. Let me know down in the comment section below how you're feeling. Are you prepared for this final collection? It'll be the show 21. I hope this helps. If it did, definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Until next time, I'll catch y'all around.